All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the legend of Harry Davis. Welcome to another fantastic Age of Empires 2 video. Uh, I guess the term fantastic might be debated here, but Harry Davis is a legend, just like Fat Sub was a legend, for a reason that is just mind-blowing to me. And we're going to get into that right now. Now, before we do, I mentioned Fat Sub. I assume most of you have seen the Fat Sub video. If not, the video is in the description. I'm going to just rewind for a moment, uh, step out of this game before we start, and give you an update on the whole fat sob situation. So before we get too involved with Harry Davis and I show you this game, I feel like it'd be good to take a quick moment to address fat sob once again. The Legend of Fat Sob video has just blown up and everybody loved it or hated it. Very controversial character in the community. And after that video was posted, he actually posted a message on his wall as well as many other people complimenting him. So I wanted to read this message for you guys, that way you know what his response was to this new fame. He says, Hi all, Fatslob here. Really like the YouTube video, T90. You made an extremely boring game seem quite entertaining with your comments. Never knew I was a legend. As you all know, I suck at this, but for some reason I love the game so much that I can't quit it. I found my way of playing the game, so I can at least win some of the games. I am not playing to piss people off, I just play to win. Having said that, I must admit it's a little fun when people do get pissed off. However, I do enjoy long games. Endurance is my middle name. Reason I seldom comment <clears throat> when people taunt me is that I'm fully occupied trying to play the game. Multitasking is not my middle name. But then again, it's kind of enjoyable when people start calling me an idiot and noob. Maybe they are right, but then again, what does it say about them losing to an idiotic noob winky face? <laughs> I am from Sweden. But I'm a bit younger than my birthday info here implies. Too bad, though, that the video didn't show a game where I actually fight. I'm not all about hiding. I can actually fight pretty good once my economy and army get together. But maybe we can see that in another video with me, The Legend of Fat Slob. So guys, since then, tons of people have been wanting to see more Fat Slob games. So if you would like to see another Fat Slob game, maybe one where he actually fights, just leave a request in the comments. But now we're going to move on to another legend of another area of Age of Empires 2, and his name is Harry Davis. So now that you guys have seen the Fat Slob update, again, let me know in the video description, or sorry, the comments, if you would like to see more Fat Slob content in the future. For now, we have the legend of Harry Davis, and as you can see, it is going to be a crazy, crazy game. So what is Harry Davis known for? Harry Davis is here in the blue, and he's playing as the Chinese. Harry Davis is known for a similar thing. He only plays one setting, and it's a ridiculous setting. Harry Davis plays 1v1 Crater Lake on Giants. On Giants, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know what Crater Lake is, Crater Lake is similar to the Gold Rush map, where you have a lar large gold piles in the middle. However, it is on a lake. And I don't know why they call it Crater Lake, because it's more like hilly, hilly gold pile lake. Yeah, yeah, you guys can figure out a different name for it. But either way, he only plays these settings, and he has played these settings, and only these settings for years. He always chooses Chinese, just like Fatslav used to choose Vikings. And he has a certain way of going about things that you maybe have never seen before. So playing up against Harry Davis is Smarthy. Now, Smarthy is someone I know very well, has been good friends with me since I started uh, streaming in the Age of Empires community, is actually one of the channel moderators. So if you end up stopping by the Twitch stream, and I do stream on Twitch five days a week, um, just make sure to remind Smarthy that she, uh, you know, I, I don't want to spoil it, but just, just remind Smarthy this game. <coughs> uh, sorry, I had a bug in my throat here. I don't know what that noise was. So, um... If you're not familiar with how the sizings work in Age of Empires 2, I'll, I'll briefly explain it to you. Um, giant is supposed to be for... Well, large is supposed to be for 8 players. And then Giant is even more than that. We only have 2 players here. And we've casted many team games on YouTube. And um, basically, if it's Giant and only 2 players, it is, it is not lying. It is not a deceiving term. It is Giant. You can already see that Harry Davis has what I can only call a weird build order. You know, he's not going to the deep fish as you normally would because deep fish are just simply not important to him. And uh, normally I would be stressing about how this is a lot of vital time, but 
He is already sending a villager around the lake here and building houses. So Smarthy is five villagers ahead already. He uh, is starting with the fishing. So you know Smarthy seems to have a better build order here. And should have the edge, right? Should be should be the stronger player. Now it's worth noting that in Smarthy's defense, this game was played in the summer and is currently February, so this was played a while ago. Though Harry Davis has played over a thousand games of these settings, he's currently inactive, so I had to contact the only player I knew that has played him. And she has just sent her scout out across the map to find where Harry Davis is located, so things are looking good there. Uh, and also, Smarthy is very close to this middle area. Now, seeing as this will be quite a long game, I'm going to keep it on fast speed for a while. But I think the best strategy on a map like this is to get all of this gold. There's 800 gold a tile, and there's three large clumps of gold here, not to mention the small amount of gold that you have next to your town centers. So, the, the game plan on a map like this would probably be to go heavy on fishing ships with all the deep fish, that way you don't need to build farms, and... You don't need to refresh the farm, so it's very cost-efficient because the fishing ships can always fish. Um, and then, you know, transport and maybe castle the middle area. I played this map with community games with the viewers on the Twitch stream multiple times, and Smarthy is doing things as she should. She's actually currently 10 bills ahead, while Harry Davis is... Oh, built some amazingly efficient farms! Um... You know, the, the idea is, is that these villagers are going to get stronger because they have to walk further back to the uh, town center. The endurance will simply be needed later on in this game, and you will see it. Uh, it's, a, it's a small hidden bonus that the further you place your farms away from PCs, the more endurance your villagers get, I guess. I don't want to confuse people. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. But you know what? He's still sending this villager around on the left-hand side, and I know why he's building these houses here, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. I don't know what he's doing, but he's definitely prepared, and he's actually sending two villagers on the right-hand side to stonewall up as well. Now, to give you an idea of just how big this map is, watch this spear. We're on fast speed. It looks like he's moving quite a large distance. If this was on a tiny map, he'd be close to halfway across the map. Now, look at the mini-map as we follow him. Right there at the bottom of your screen. You see how long it takes this spear to even get to the wall. Now imagine sending an army around. It's tough. It's tough. So I'm going to fill you in on a little secret, guys. I'm going to speed it up a little bit more now. You know, Smarthy, she has, she's on her way to Castle Age ahead of Harry Davis. She has 10 more villagers. She has... 15 more fishing ships. She's starting with the water control now, and she does have the lead big time. But Harry Davis, he's used to this, and he does one simple thing. Okay, that sounded like clickbait. You will not believe the one simple trick that Harry Davis used. He does one thing, which is just mind-blowing. The only way he wins games is by doing what he's going to do right now. He's going to collect relics. So, what you're probably thinking is, T90, that's ridiculous. If he doesn't have gold control, there's no way he'll win. Those five relics won't do anything. <laughs> you are mistaken, my friends. You are mistaken. Harry Davis just plays this to bait his opponents into going for the gold and snags those relics as early as possible. Uh, he is now in Castle Age. He built a, a sneak attack down here. He hasn't used it yet. Uh, Smarthy's already starting to push a little bit. It's looking very good for her. Even knights come around the left-hand side, even though the stone walls would be up. I really don't know what speed to run on, but you know it's obvious Smarthy is, is just a better player, right? Just a better player should have this game in the bag. 111 population now, verse 34 from Harry Davis. It's all part of the plan, though. It is all part of the plan. Smarthy on multiple town centers. These Persian town centers are fantastic. The Persian eco is fantastic. Uh, some idle time for Smarthy, but does have 60 more villagers than Harry Davis, so it shouldn't be a concern. Uh, Harry Davis uh, has well one of his t town centers idle. He still has the endurance farms going. And um, this is a scouting spear, I guess. Now, speaking of scouting, his scouting's much better than Smarthy's. 
And um, relic wise, he has two. He doesn't see this one. He's very close to seeing it. He doesn't see this one. He's also very close to seeing it. He is teching into pikemen to deal with all the knights he sees from Smarthy. The Persians have paladins in the Imperial Age once Smarthy gets there. As Smarthy has war galleys in the middle camping and has villagers on that extra goal. We're looking very good for her. Now this monk should see the relic. Yep. There we go. He can see this. I'm sure he'll snag it. A Harry Davis getting guard tower. Building guard towers on the docks to protect his ships. Now, he's not messing around with just one or two. He's going to continue with this, I imagine. Now, the houses are actually there, I think, anyway. Because when you patrol ships, they will patrol into the nearest building on the shoreline. So I think that he's built these houses earlier. Maybe for line of sight. And also to get the ship's attention as they... Uh, patrol by or sail by, whatever you want to call it. There's also some wolves in the middle. Smarthy is just denying the wolves. And he kills here using the ships. Great multitasking. And oh, look at this monk go. The monk is going to run away from Smarthy. I mean, right now, Harry Davis is on the way to Imp, but what does he have to deal with these knights and battering rams? Not much. Um, a few pikemen. Gonna need to add more. I only see two there. Just, but hold on a sec. What's he? What's he doing? What's he doing with this monk? Ah, I think he's gonna reposition the relics into the left-hand corner because he expects he's gonna die. The top-level strategies here. The monks are fleeing. This one, there he goes. There he goes. There's some expired farms. Some problems for Harry Davis, but it's giant. Let's just get fortified wall and run away. So Smarthy now researching Cavaliers. Smarthy has 170 population. <laughs> Harry Davis is at 43. I, I can't help but feel bad for Smarthy, but uh, I'm also very confident for her because you know, she's now on this side with the Cavalier. So I think you guys can see as viewers that this is shaping up to be quite a long game as, as Harry Davis is going to play hide and seek. Uh, build in new barracks so he can make pikemen, but Smarthy has all the gold in the middle. Smarthy has 60 more villagers, so Smarthy's getting Paladin. Smarthy's killing this TC, and it's absolutely destroying right now. now Harry Davis sees this relic, um, and he's going to snag that. Uh, and this one to the north, he has not scouted, unfortunately, for him. Smarthy should have it. Should have it. Relocated the dock so she can fish more. So much more economy. 18 fishing ships, 103 villagers versus 4 fishing ships and 38 villagers. Only a god could win in this situation. Harry Davis is, is shaping up. Try and hold on and be a god. Now I'm going to follow the monks because this is the Harry Davis strategy. Uh, did I just hear him create a transport? I just feel like he might transport with this monk. I'm not so sure. More fortified walls for Harry Davis. Smarthy still has plenty of gold available to her in the middle. She has double the score of Harry Davis, so really this should not be an issue for her. And Harry Davis getting monk upgrades more walls so at, at this stage of the game smarthy's feeling confident as would i be as the uh, caster if i didn't already know what harry davis did and smarthy's done almost everything right here and the relic shouldn't pay off but, <laughs> oh let's go let's transport into the corner harry davis able to snag that relic and getting a transport, take it to his new lands. And, um, you know, now he has Halberdier, and he's gonna force Smarthy to go into something else, other than Paladin. And Smarthy's destroying everything that Harry Davis had up here, but it doesn't matter, because he didn't really have anything back here anymore, anyhow. So, I'm gonna slow it down for a moment. I'm gonna try and do some math, okay? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 times 800. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So like 25 times 800. If you do the math, if you're quick with math like me, that equals a lot of gold. Exactly a lot of gold. And way more than relics will ever provide. So Smarthy, it's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, if you don't watch my Twitch stream, again, recommend checking that out. But uh, there's an emote that we have there for the subs, and it's called T90 Fine. And it's that, that meme of the dog in a burning building saying this is fine. And that's... You know what? We're not even there yet. We're not even there yet. Smarthy still maintains double the score. Has so much map control. I don't think she'll be very concerned at all. And Harry Davis has his corner and he has his four relics. So we see how this is going. You know, Harry Davis, every time he's going to get attacked, he will relocate. He will put villagers in different areas. Probably start building TCs elsewhere. This guy just will not die. And he's going to play the long game just like Fat Slop did in the 1v1 Black Forest. To Smarthy's credit, she's done a great job of taking him off the main base. She scouted that early on. Also, she can take these golds and stones if she wants that Harry Davis is left behind. Now Harry Davis is going to add a bit of navy. So Harry Davis, maybe recognizing that the water is important, maybe he will actually try and make a push towards that gold in the middle. But I don't see Smarthy giving that up. Even keep coming in now for Harry Davis. Oh, but here come the Paladins from Smarthy. There's only a few monks here. There's not many Halvadiers. The Harry Davis production. Well, he simply does not have enough production here, does he? I don't... Oh, he's ringing the town bell. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think he knows about this. It's Smarthy. He should be able to kill everything here. With these Paladins. Paladins have full upgrades. And this is a problem for Harry Davis because he has his relics right here. Smarthy's building a castle. She's going to build it right smack in the middle of this island. And she's going to make sure that, you know, if Harry Davis does get water control, he cannot push back. Harry Davis is at 86 population. Has very little resource in the bank. Only getting gold from relics. And the halberdiers that were forward a moment ago for Harry Davis are now running back. And um, they should chew up these paladins now. Smarthy might still kill the castle, and she will. But she will lose her paladins. Every time Smarthy wants to send reinforcements from her buildings back at home, it's going to take a decade to get to where they need to be. So she needs to start building forward buildings, and she has kind of done that on both sides. She's really doing everything right now, you know, going with Siege Ram. She has the counters involved now, skirmishers and hand cannons counter the halbs. That's going to force some more ranged units from Harry Davis. You know, Harry Davis only has one working farm right now. Uh, two TCs, but only one working TC and very little food. But, you know, the walls continue here. And we also have a T90 wall emote. A T90 wall is a theme in these legend videos. Uh, it's literally just a wall that people can spam in Twitch chat. And Fat Slob and Harry Davis, they love the color blue. And they love their fortified walls. Maybe we need to have a best of seven between Harry Davis and Fat Slob um, in their respective arena. I uh, I don't think I'd be able to make it to my 50th birthday if we tried that. I'm 24 now. I imagine it'd take about 30 years to complete a best of seven on 1v1 Crater Lake and on um, on 1v1 Black Forest Vikings. But maybe someday. Maybe someday. Maybe when I'm retired, I'll just cast that till I die. I don't know. Harry Davis is actually in a worse position than he was when I uh, talked about him <laughs> like 15 minutes ago. He's he's a 60 pop now. Miss Smarthy, let's look at her resources. Oh, man. Look at those juicy resources. Plenty of gold. 15k wood. 9k food. There's no way. No way she can lose this game. <clears throat> <clears throat> no way. No way. Again, I'm going to keep it on fast speed. I'm actually going to make it faster because 
Harry Davis is gonna need some time. And I think Smarthy again is doing all the right things and she's trying to secure the map, secure resources, getting Cannon Galleon is important because then she wants to push these docks. I apologize for the fast speed, but you'll understand once you see how long this game actually goes. Now, Harry Davis is... He's popular, and he will be more popular after this video, but people who comment on his profile, they don't seem to like him for this style. And I'm sure you guys will understand why. <clears throat> I think... Smarthy going to water is a good idea. If she's going to go cannon galleons, though, she probably needs to have a lot of galleons in front. Uh, we saw how a few of those cannon galleons went down to Harry Davis. But guys, look at the scouting from Smarthy. This is her point of view. Look at her resources. 8k gold. She is now going with war elephants, and she can research elite war elephant. You know, she really has gone into every single technology possible. She had Seedram, elite skirmisher. I guess she hasn't gone for halberdier. Or like long swords or something, but you get what I'm saying. Paladins, war elephants, sea ram, hand cannons, all the powerhouse units that Persians get, Smarthy has been able to tech into, and you know, she still has resources left. But guys, look what Harry Davis sees. He sees this relic, and he wants it. And this <laughs> This is an exciting thing for him. I can only imagine. He's jumping up and down right now. He has the time, trust me. He's just blowing at home. So he probably got up, jumped up and down for a moment, and is getting real hyped about seeing that relic. You know, Smarthy does know it's there, but she really doesn't need the relic because she has all the gold. Well, here we go. A little bit more of a water conflict. The Smarthy has military down here. Uh, it's so difficult to multitask when you have such a long... Uh, journey to get to your opponent and there's so many walls so you know if she does have idle armies that makes sense smarty is by no means a pro player and um i would say she's a novice player but she's outclassing harry davis as we speak now i think the key would be to win water from harry davis and then he can't wall up anymore now i saw a transport from harry davis and i'm just thinking that eventually, he's going to load up the transport with a monk, and he's going to try and snag that relic. That's just a guess. <laughs> because he, he doesn't seem to be able to do anything else right now. Now, we are one hour and 30 minutes into the game. Smarthy's probably feeling confident. I'm going to just quickly show you the achievements to show you how many resources they've collected here. I can toggle here so it zooms in a bit more for you. Now there's the relic gold for Harry Davis, so that's adding up. But look at the gold difference. So one hour and 30 minutes in, Harry Davis has run already, and he has a massive amount of stone walls. Look at the eco difference! 27k gold for Smarthy and 8k gold for Harry Davis. The KD is actually pretty interesting. I think that's because Marthy lost some of her uh, paladins, but that, that doesn't matter when you have these resources. It does not matter. Smarthy currently in full control. But, you know, much like Fat Slob, when people play Harry Davis, they don't really know what they're getting. So, you know, Smarthy... She's playing this standard, and she should feel confident. <clears throat> it's ridiculous to think that on a map which has so much gold, a guy would actually plot to just get those five relics for gold and completely forget about the middle. And that's just what makes Harry Davis so special. <laughs> that is actually a strategy that he thought would be good. And the only way that's going to work is if he holds up for another two hours because then smarthy will have lost all the gold and whew, i mean it's going to be quite a journey but fat Slob said that his middle name is endurance and maybe harry davis also has the middle name endurance so slowly smarthy tries to creep forward on each side i would just delete all production buildings back at home now because you only need forward ones because, you know, sometimes players toggle through and accidentally create units where they don't want to, like, uh, here, for example. 
but it's it's still 200 population versus one 10 population and Smarthy has almost 10k gold Should Smarthy be getting this relic? Yes Probably knowing what we know about Harry Davis but should she feel like she needs it? No because Why <laughs> she is 10k gold and still has gold here could even sell her other resources if she wants She's just steamrolling Harry Davis with this army composition and she's coming in from multiple angles now and Harry Davis seems to be adding a lot more Navy I was getting some halberdier upgrades and spamming the halberdiers towards Smarthy Smarthy is really trying to get to this back corner and is probably on tilt is probably frustrated now Because this game in her eyes is completely over 10k gold in the bank and you just you just shouldn't be able to beat that if you're Harry Davis you don't have those golds So as she gets cleaned up on the right hand side she adds some skirmishers and she pushes to the on the north um, The Navy will actually help hold here and The halberdiers again do, do pretty well versus the paladins as we've seen time and time again but I think smarty maybe needs to add some Navy and she's doing that We're gonna add heavy cavalry archer now she Maybe feels like she needs some more archer units involved here. Probably could have researched Elite War Elephant. She may have assumed she's already researched that, but I'm not going to nitpick over that either. I'm still waiting. I've never seen the entirety of this game. Um, so I'm still waiting to see if Harry Davis is going to try and somehow sneak out here to get that relic. Because that would be quite a mission to get past all of the military that Smarthy has. You know, she continues to push in here. Loosen a couple cannon galleons. On the right hand side is kind of taking her foot off the gas. And you can see where this is going. So um, what I'm going to do now, I happen to know how long the game is. And we know exactly what Harry Davis is doing. I'm going to speed it up. And as the game goes by... You will slowly see Smarthy's resources disappear. She is losing the gold in the Middle Island. And Harry Davis is holding remarkably well. He's not pushing, sure. But he's holding. And getting underneath Smarthy's skin. Now, I will look for blue on the minimap to see if a monk ends up going out there. But you know, Smarthy still should be in the best position here with the paladins on this side the navy it's just that you know she's running into bombard towers you know this guy is he's gone into bombard towers and keeps absolute worst uh, smarty's getting chewed up by those halves has no answer to that smarty has so many paladins down here you know with this many paladins she can kill the halberdiers but Harry Davis is spamming like a madman and seems to be taking cost-efficient fights. In fact, the kill-death ratio is pretty close. The Smarthy can't decide. Does she go Navy? Well, if she goes Navy, she runs into some of these towers and then she doesn't have any more population on, um, on lands. Yep, there you go. Harry Davis cleaning her up once again and she just can't figure out what to do here. And slowly but surely, her gold count disappears on the island. This is actually the last of the gold that she has, as she has 3k gold banked up. So now I'll look at the achievements. I wish there was a way to disable the attack noise, but there's not. Um, there's now 10k relic gold for Harry Davis, but look at the gold difference. I'll zoom in again for you. Smarthy has collected 41k gold. While Harry Davis only has uh, 12.5k. So almost four times the gold for Smarthy. But yet Harry Davis, he's camping. And he is doing this on purpose. Smarthy's now out of gold. Oh, I almost exited out. That would have been really bad. So we'll continue the game at this speed. Till about... Um, till about 2 hours and 45 minutes. Uh, just for the you know sake of your time and also well for my time as well if Smarthy is probably getting a little bit antsy now because the score is getting closer and closer and closer 
I'll maybe put it at 75 speed. Uh, apologies, there's no better way to do this but just speed up because Harry Davis <laughs> makes these games go on for so long. I, I really have no choice. Now, Smarthy um, seems to be going with Skirms, Heavy Cav Archers, Paladins. So she is using a lot of gold units. Still trying to push on water. Um, I actually think the keeps are the one thing that has really helped Harry Davis hold his dock positions, but you know, Smarthy should be able to take fights. But she can't decide. She has an army here. She has an army here. She has an army here. And every time she pushes, Harry Davis holds somehow. And this is his strategy. This is literally his strategy. He joins the game knowing he's not going to get the, the 40k gold in the middle. He joins the game knowing that everyone's going to be distracted by the fancy gold in the middle. And he's going to get the relics. So as far as ridiculousness goes, I think Harry Davis is a step above Fat Slob. I, I think this is more ridiculous than Fat Slob because even though Fat Slob stonewalls like crazy and starves his opponent out, he plays it standard with a boom, right? He, he doesn't count on running away. He just counts on some walls. Uh, Harry Davis chose this map of all maps for this reason and he counts on running and he counts on walling on top of that and then he counts on just relics <laughs> so now look at the resources i mean both players are around 200 some gold sure smarty could sell some resources but so could harry davis and um i feel pretty bad for smarty right now you know at the time um this was uh, again, a while ago. I don't remember exactly when. I think it was maybe close to a year ago or um, beginning of summer or, or spring. I was talking to Smarthy on TeamSpeak and I was saying how, you know, there's this Harry Davis guy who tricks people into playing these settings. And she's like, oh wow, that sounds awful. And then, you know, I get a text message about five hours later <laughs> and she's like, I just lost. To Harry Davis and she was saying I'm so mad I'm so mad so of course I almost had to go to the hospital I was laughing so hard that you know I needed some professional help and eventually got over that and loaded up her profile and looked at the recorded game <laughs> and uh, at the time I sped through it real fast I didn't really have time to to focus on the specifics of the game like we have touched on here but I just, I just died. I just died. I, I learned that day that you never play Harry Davis. Even though he's not the best player, you never play him. Because it is simply a waste of your time. And certainly Smarthy could have done things a little bit better here. But you know, she is by far the better player between these two. And she has gotten starved out by these top level tactics from Harry Davis. And Harry Davis only has four relics, sure. But that's more than Smarthy can ever get now, unless she pushes through. And as she continues to try and push, she runs into the towers and into the halberdiers. So she's added the skirmishers for the halbs, and the trebuchets are here for the towers. So she finally has the right idea with adding some siege. You know, on this side, same thing, adding a lot of trebuchets. But she does need to be careful now because every single gold unit that he uh, she loses is more valuable to her it's, it's a bigger loss for her now because she doesn't have the gold remarkably harry davis is only four thousand behind in the score not really an ac accurate representation of how this game has gone smarties should be way ahead but you know 110 population he's getting pushed a little bit here but He's building more archer ranges and spamming skirmishers and, and halberdiers when he finds the time. Adding navy as well. Has, has no time for gather points on his docks because that's only for noobs. And Smarthy's still closing in around him. <laughs> so, this is where... You know, Smarthy has zero gold. And... She continues to sacrifice units because she's running into trash units and towers and ships. So, you know, now there's cannon galleons here from Harry Davis. Unless Smarthy can send in a large navy again, Harry Davis is probably going to be able to camp here on the edges as long as he would like. And you can see he's doing it even on the south. 
It's not over for Smarthy yet, though, because she can sell her food and wood, and she's just done so to get 1,100 gold. But she's kind of running out of ideas. She's been doing the same thing all game. So, <laughs> I don't think she will be feeling very confident now. I don't know if she's thought about the relic. She still could get this one. I mean, at this rate, that would have given her a lot of resources. Also, it, it slightly bothers me she doesn't have more forward production buildings, but... You know, it's still fine. She still played this one well. It's just baffling that Harry Davis... He's played over a thousand games with these settings, and he does it... When he wins games, he does it with the relics. It's... That is so next level thinking that, you know, Viper, Doubt, Jordan, Tato, all these top players we see all the time, there's no way they could ever think of this. <laughs> there's no way they could ever think of this because it's it's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, let's play a map that's that gives you more gold than Gold Rush, but uh, forget the gold entirely and go for the relics. I mean, even Viper wouldn't have the balls to go for that. I guess we're not going to see the transport to that other relic. We're just going to see a lot more of the same. Um, now Smarthy is... She just researched Man at Arms. So maybe she will go into some... Some infantry units. Yeah, now upgrading a lot of her trash. Going for Halvadir and Hussar. And, and selling even stone now. To get some gold. Now Harry Davis is running out of places to chop wood. <laughs> So, uh, Smarthy's trying to, to raid with the Paladins, but running into Bombard Towers and ships once again. What else is new? Yeah, Harry Davis is running out of wood areas. Just has a little bit here, and a little bit here as well. And that's it. But, he still has his four relics. And... <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I felt bad for uh, the guy who lost to, to Fatslob a little bit. But I feel so bad for anyone that has ever played Harry Davis. Like, this guy doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. He's sending villagers after the Trebs. And he's killing some of the Trebuchets as well. And this Trebuchet's... Uh, well, it's going to die because Harry Davis is sending more Halps out here, right? Let's see. Does he send the Halps out immediately for the Treb? I guess not. It stays up. Good push from Smarthy here. Lots of skirms, lots of paladins. She's pushing in versus the Bombard Towers. Uh, to the north, she's she's also massing units. 135 military versus 45 military from Harry Davis. Has Harry Davis been outsmarted here by uh, the onslaught from Smarthy? The cons consistent spam from Smarthy despite not having the gold. Now, if Harry Davis wants to improve on this strategy... What he needs to do is learn to boom up a little bit more so he can sell like Smarthy's been doing to stay alive, as you can see there. But you know, no sign that he's going down. No sign at all that he will die. He's still able to hold to this corner despite not having a lot of wood, despite not having a lot of villagers, only on 29 villagers. I mean, with Smarthy, it makes sense because Smarthy has so much military, but for Harry Davis, he doesn't have the numbers to justify that low build count. Skirmishers, Halberdiers, and uh, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it for Harry Davis. Now, Smarthy does have some idle military around here, but, you know, guys, she would have to be looking for this. Because it's not technically idle. Because it's attacking something. And she's like, where is this? Where is this? Where is this? It's all the way over here. Going to be tough to, to spot. I, I think she's sending in... One mistake for her is she's sending in units from all the way back at home. This is going to take so long to get to where she needs them. Um, on such a giant map. <clears throat> and because of that, she is getting cleaned up now. As Harry Davis has the production buildings very close to these fights. So I commend Smarthy for continuing to play at this point. She's probably continuing off pure salt, but look at the score now at the bottom right, guys. You know, sometimes when you see these experts play and they feel like they're behinds, they'll continue if they have the score lead. 
And now Smarthy has just lost the score lead. And um, she's got to be getting frustrated. Got to be getting frustrated. Or more frustrated because who wouldn't be frustrated at this stage? Harry Davis is actually pushing a little bit now. And attacking this castle with his one cannon galleon. Smarthy has no relics. No access to gold and the bombard cannons are going to go down to the light cav. Harry Davis turning on the style with his micro. Now also winning back a little bit of water control from Smarthy. She doesn't have the gold to make ships anymore. And if she adds navy, she could lose land. Harry Davis is pushing forward more than he has pretty much all game after he went to this corner in the beginning. And that gives him more wood. And actually a siege workshop going up for him, that's a surprising sign because I have not seen a lot of siege from him in this game. 200 population again for Smarthy, 130 for Harry Davis. But Harry Davis banking up that gold with the relics. Let's look at the achievements again, guys. 15k relic gold for Harry Davis. I'll give you that zoom in once again. There it is. And uh, there's the economy difference now. Smarthy is finished with her gold. She has no gold to collect and no relics. So while she has collected more this game, Harry Davis is going to have more going forward. So the past is the past. Now Smarthy needs to look forward and is not looking very good for her. Um, oh, the game is moving. Okay. I thought it was paused. Harry Davis, three hours into the game, researching capped ram. See, he's so good. He did it. He's so good. He has the micro to repair his bombard tower. He's so good that he didn't need any capped ram upgrade until three hours into the game. This guy is simply a legend. Now he's going for siege ram as well. He's really turning on the style. 113 population that's way more than the 112 he had a moment ago it's true this guy is truly a beast uh, smarthy now is pushing versus navy um, believe it or not skirmishers and halberdiers actually would do well if the ships weren't in the water and if they were against the shoreline the halberdiers could get some shots uh, with this many skirms i mean she'll have a small hill bonus i guess i guess it's all right <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is this is where the T90 finds would be spammed because it's not fine for Smarthy. It is not fine at all. And if the siege does come out for Harry Davis, she's not going to have a response to it. And trash skirmisher and ram would be an excellent move from Harry Davis. You know, again, he gives zero fucks about gather points. Archer ranges. <laughs> he, he never once just clicks and goes, boop, I want to send him there. No. He just has to gather them up after they're trained. Even the KD now getting close to going into Harry Davis' favor, and I think it will. Because Harry Davis has mainly trash. Now he's going for Heavy Scorpion! No, he only has one Siege Workshop, right? One Siege Workshop! He researched Siege Ram and now Heavy Scorpion. He hasn't created one. He has the score lead over Smarthy. He's pushing back against Smarthy, killing the Trebs. Smarthy's got to be so salty. We might as well rename her the, um, well, Salty instead of Smarthy. I mean, it would make sense here. I don't think Smarthy has any chance now. Harry Davis with ridiculous spam. You know, he's compensated here. He realizes he has uh, four buildings here. But he's not going to create out of all of them because that's just too much. He needs to to make halves out of this barracks and skirmishers out of this archery range, but nothing out of here. It's not needed. It's calculated because he has the ships in the tower. Not needed at all. He needs to save cop room for down here. Never doubt Harry Davis. Never doubt Fat Slob. And Harry Davis is about to show you all why he is also a legend. Taking out Smarthy's castles now. Smarthy is still maintaining 200 population. Oh, hold on a second. She did get one relic. I kind of missed that. That's important. It's right there. I don't think Harry Davis will be able to get that. 
Larry Davis will be able to hold. And he's pushing with Navy, big time. Lots of cannon galleons being added in. There's the first siege ram. He's just working his way along the water's edge. No cares in the world right now. Didn't even need his sheep from earlier, because that's how good he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I I can't even take this seriously now. I have played this guy before. I, I did end up beating him. I'll read the, the comments on this guy's profile, but essentially for me, he just ran around the map. And uh, it took me about an hour to beat him when he was dead at the 20 minute mark. But don't let that, don't let that fool you. If you play him, it's not going to be that easy. Smarty has completely outclassed him, and yet she's probably going to go down. There have been many, many victims to Harry Davis and Fat Slob over the years. And this is just one of thousands. I don't know why someone would ever want to play with these settings. I, I cannot understand it. I also cannot understand Fat Slob's. A smarty, she's running low on res, she sold a lot of her food, she sold a lot of her wood, and she sold it for gold, and now, with only 56 villagers, actually the same as Harry Davis, she's not gonna have a lot of farmers and a lot of lumberjacks to replenish those numbers, so she might end up you know, wasting all the gold she has left now, and then having no food and wood to create trash when she uh, slowly loses these fights, and I think it's obvious she will slowly lose these fights. I think we're, we're getting closer to the end here for Smarthy, and uh, while she could continue to fight this with Trash, I doubt she's going to have the mental strength to continue on after what has happened here. Uh, even, even the micro with that villager, Harry Davis is just, he's too good. I think, at real talk for a second, had Smarthy gone with... A lot more siege rams instead of one or two had she built you know, 20 to 30 because she certainly had the gold for it with trash then that would have been enough because the problem is she's sending in a few siege units at a time and Harry Davis's towers and you know production buildings are right here waiting for her but I can understand why she would be overconfident um, or confident uh, it's not even overconfident just because of her, her, the position she was in it seemed pretty good it's still, she's out popping the guy. The KD is remarkably close. We're closing in on 3,000 total deaths in this game. She does have a lot of her production buildings queued up, and she still has 1,300 gold because she's not using any gold right now. Harry Davis, uh, we talked about wood earlier. Well, he can't take this wood. He's, he's almost out of trees. There's a lot of idle villagers being created out of multiple town centers. It's, it seems like he doesn't know gather points exist, or he just doesn't like using them. But... <clears throat> haters will say he's a noob, but he, he's going to win without gather points. <laughs> he's going to win without gather points. As Marthy has very little wood now. Very little wood. I'm looking at all her lumber camps. She does have some lumberjacks here. But not to keep up with the production she will need. And just as we expected, slowly but surely this army gets cleaned up. The trebs went down. I heard her adding a few more trebuchets, I think. I guess she's going to push on this side now. But this side it's more difficult because the navy's here. So the other side's probably the best route to go. And, you know, the, the Halbs will come forward eventually from Harry Davis. And the Navy is going to do a good enough job even without them. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Thank God that we didn't do this on fast speed. <laughs> I mean, no, thank God we did this on fast speed. Thank God we didn't do this live. I don't want to hear anyone on Twitch asking me to do a Harry Davis game. Because this isn't, this is mild. This is mild by Harry Davis' standards. I've seen seven hour games on his profile before. This is just a walk in the park for him, but not for us. Uh, it might make it a little bit awkward for YouTubers, I guess, because they normally watch it on fast forwards. 
um, and I had to do this game in fast forward so maybe for once you guys won't do that I, I don't know I don't really care it's just good to have you guys watching the video I hear more archer ranges for smarthy three hours and 30 minutes into this game He's trying to build some more forward production buildings, but she is going to get cleaned up once again by the astonishing composition from Harry Davis. The skirmishers, halves, and light cav gonna kill everything. The Chinese light cav get full upgrades. They're stronger than some civilizations' hussars, so they're definitely a force to be reckoned with. I wonder what Smarthy's doing. I wonder if she's trying to, to treb off the map. Is she really cutting the trees? Why is she cutting the trees? She, you know what? Smarthy with some next level thinking is going to try and cut all the trees. <laughs> that way, Harry Davis runs out of wood. I don't think that's the reasoning, but I would like to know why she's doing that. Because she has to look back to the trebs and, and click. So it is really confusing. Now this is what she can see now. Maybe she's aware. That the opponent is running out of wood. It would be a pretty big tell if she sees that Harry Davis has just built lumber camps on the front that he's running out of wood. But he's not running out of gold now. In fact, he has more resources than Smarthy has, and than Smarthy has had in a long, long time. It's all gone into navy, and the gold count is only going to climb for him. And frustration only going to rise for Smarthy. Wow. So, um, this is where I ask YouTube. What are your thoughts on this Harry Davis guy? I think it's hilarious. I, I personally think it's hilarious. I'm not saying that he's not a noob. I'm not saying that, you know, baiting people into playing these games is, is um, kind of a jerk thing to do. But, I mean, he has the settings. People choose to join. People choose to play. And I don't know what they think is going to happen. But this is what happens. And they have to live with the consequences. I think it's hilarious because everyone who's ever gone to Boogly has been tricked into playing this guy at some point because it seems like an easy game, you know, maybe there's not many games on at the time, so, you know, you're like, ah, okay, sure, I'll play this, or maybe you want some easy points, and you play him, and then this happens to you, and, you know, the entire time you know that the guy is a worse player than you, and yet he outsmarts you. And that has got to be the most humiliating thing possible. Like, even more humiliating than Fat Slob. So in this particular game, I don't think Smarthy said anything salty in the chat. Um, and unfortunately, Harry Davis has been inactive since July of 2017. So I can't look at any of the, the chat logs from any games. But I did in the past, and let me tell you, there were some, some things said that I can never, ever repeat on YouTube because my channel will be promptly banned. I mean people were pissed man. People said some awful things about this guy and you know just like Fat Slob he didn't say a word and he just carries on. Uh, he's gonna have to carry on without woods. Smarthy's definitely been trying to take the guy off woods. Smart thinking. Um, here however there is wood for Harry Davis to take. I know we sped this up, but this is this is just a marathon. 1,700 kills for Harry Davis, 1,600 losses. Very close game, honestly. Very close game with the stats, anyhow. If you would have, if this would have been the Arabia game, you'd be thinking, "Wow, you know, this went on a long time. Uh, this is probably Viper and Doubt. This is this is probably Tato and Leary. Like, I want to see the recording of this game with the amount of resources they had." and how long the game went on with these kills. But, um, nope. You know, <laughs> I actually think Smarthy's trying to cut with the trebs past the trees into the guy's base. I actually think that's what she's doing. Which, which is funny, but it's funnier because she could have started the trebs here a lot earlier. She didn't have to start from back here. Why does she chop through here? And here, when she could have, when she was sitting here the whole time, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe she's going to want to use these trebuchets for the towers now that Harry Davis is building. Hold on a second. 
How did the guy do this? Guys, Harry Davis, I believe he, he had to have transported past. He's built a forward town center, and he's finally going to go on the offensive. He's going to start hitting Smarty where it hurts, right in the economy. Let's go. Not sure his Bombard Tower is going to die, but I don't think Smarty knows about that. Uh, she does. She only knows about the Lumberjacks here, but and she does not know about this. And why? Why should she? She's she's all over the guy on both sides. 140 military for still hanging on to some gold, and what little respect she has for herself after playing almost four hours of this game. And now the halberdiers are going to start hitting her economy, and I guess she has spotted this. But that's not going to be a, a welcome sight, I'm sure. Um, she's garrisoned all her town centers for just a few, ha few halberdiers. We've we've read this book before. We know how this story goes. <laughs> she's pushing at the top. She's pushing at the south, and she's running into navy, <laughs> and she just cannot get past. The stone walls of, of uh, Harry Davis. Harry Davis adding in the Chinese scorpions, which I love. Uh, with the gate here as well. I don't know what that signal was about. Maybe maybe that was a little bit of smart you saw. I, I don't know. It's not fair to us to say. But um, it wouldn't be surprising. Uh, I don't know where these light cap are going. These guys are going on a mission for Harry Davis. But he's he's built a bomber tower here, and he's he's trying to get into Smarthy's economy still. He has navy to the north, navy to the south, and if he wins this game, if he wants to defeat Smarthy, this will take another three hours. It will. But I do know that Smarthy's gonna give it up soon. She is probably utterly frustrated. Um, I do happen to know she played this at night and she had work the next day, so this is just hours of her time invested into this stupid, stupid game. Uh, Harry Davis is a god, and Harry Davis doesn't need to go to work, so this is just, this is just normal stuff for him. And <laughs> the towers continue because Harry Davis has the resources now, he's been buying a bit of stone and of course, he has the gold, so he can continue to build these towers, and he's actually trying to, to I guess, take out Smarthy's base on the south side. Also spamming Light Cav. I don't know where he's sending them. Even sending villagers here to build a house? These next level strategies cannot be explained. Um, yeah, Smarthy's gonna lose a lot of her eco here, and there's, <laughs> there's the... G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G That's where she she falls on the keyboard, just holds the G's, presses enter, and um probably throws her computer out the window. That was actually the last we've seen of Smarthy. Uh just kidding. Wow, I mean I feel bad for Smarthy. I do feel bad for Smarthy, but you guys had to see this because this is just on another level of ridiculousness. Of course, the title is Legend of Harry Davis, uh, but he is legend for a reason that many people will not like. So, word from the wise here, do not, do not play this kind of game unless you're prepared for a very long, long game. Uh, many of you are going to be tempted, though. I, I know how it goes. I saw it. You know, Fat Slob suddenly got a lot more activity because all of you guys were tempted to see how you would do versus him. Uh, this time... It might not go so well for you. And um, I'm going to show you a guy's profile real quick. Actually, before we do that, we'll look at the achievements. There's a zoom in on the achievements. And there's the military stats. Harry Davis with over 2,000 kills. The economy difference is still ridiculous. Um... I know I wowed you with my math skills earlier, telling you that the gold in the middle was a lot, but uh, this is a lot more for Smarthy. I'll wow you again with my math skills. Uh, we know exactly what Harry Davis went for there, and it worked to perfection. 22k relic gold, and um, I know there's no salt count for the achievements in the society for Smarthy, but it would be over 9,000.
So that's the end of that game. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up the guy's profile because he, just like Fatslop, has been doing this for a very, very long time. And I just want to show you what the response has been. Unfortunately, he's been inactive for a while. I'll show you his profile right now. Uh, so his birthday was in 1969. <laughs> um, assuming all of this is true, which it probably isn't. His profile was created in 2014, so it's been uh, about three and a half years, I guess. The amount of matches he has played, uh, you have to look at the rating ladders for that. He is on a two-game losing streak. He has 422 wins and 947 losses. You look at the details of the profile. Um, well, I guess it doesn't say the Civ information because he's been so inactive, but he only plays Chinese, so I can give you that info myself. And this is the wall, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read some of the comments from his profile. So, just like with Fatslob, people take this very seriously. Yo Man Chill Out says Harry Davis links the, the match. He says, um, these are the settings. 6565 holds the record for defeating him the fastest. Match details here. Duration, 28 minutes. Um, Eric Jacklin says, run, Forest run. Keeper Arge says, I don't blame him for not resigning even when it's GG. The problem with this guy is that he unpaused the game immediately after every time I paused it. I asked for a second, but he didn't respond. Pezzy says, are you searching for a clan? Check out TRP. You are very welcome. Greetings, Robert Lewandowski. Wow, we have a Bayern Munich player who respects Fat, uh, not Fat Sub, sorry, Harry Davis, so he must be a legend. No Rain Jose says, thanks for the games. Really enjoyed playing with you. Looking forward to more games. So, oh, very wholesome comments. Uh, Eckhart, this guy actually was, he had also commented on the Fat Slob video and the Fat Slob profile. He says, yes, two hours, and he was GG after 40 minutes. That's a shame, but the map was too big, so it was slow for me to win 11. <laughs> Dolan Duck, he is not sugarcoating things. He says, <laughs> please seek medical help. Uh, Foz says, what a shame. We play two hour, you do nothing. Yo Dan says confirmed, and his response is most likely to, this child is a troll, never resigning, and always escaping. So guys, that is the legend of Harry Davis, and I really don't think there's a possibility to show you another Harry Davis game unless he comes back. He was last online in June of 2017. Like all Age of Empires players, he, he will probably return at some point in the future. And if you guys have interest in seeing another ridiculous game from him, maybe I'll bring it back in the future. As for the Fat Slob stuff, I'm sure you guys want to see some different action from him. Uh, we're doing these Legend of X player videos about once a month. So I will maybe bring back Fat Slob before I find or until I find someone else. It's going to be very difficult to find someone that matches up to Fat Slob and Harry Davis, but I'm sure I can do enough research and find something for you. Also, for all those that support me on Twitch with subscriptions, I hope you enjoyed your 48-hour preview to this. And those who are Patreon supporters as well, I hope you enjoyed your preview. Basically, anyone who keeps all of this alive, thank you very much for that, guys. It has really been good for me lately um, to have such security going into this full-time move. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video, and have a good one.